This video is for Allison transmission lovers, the Chevy and GMC guys. Hopefully this video saves you some time and money and frustration. If you're having hard shifts, if your transmission stuck in a certain gear, uh, hopefully this helps you out. So this one is, this is a 2002 or 2004 workhorse, little 4BT Cummins on it. This is a 1000 series Allison and it was stuck in third gear if you put it in drive it wouldn't shift into any other gear. Um, very hard shifting from park to reverse or park to drive um, or from drive to park it would clunk pretty hard. And the, the only codes it was throwing was transmission range, um, sensor, circuit, high voltage, which is the neutral safety switch. We went ahead and replaced it. Probably shouldn't have done it. Um, now that I have pretty sure I figured out the issue. The transmission fluid temperature sensor also um, throwing a code. We ended up opening up this, take, taking off the pan. We took off the valve body, made sure all the solenoids, everything was moving and functioning. We checked the ohms. Everything checked out just fine internally. Um, as far as externally, not so much. So that connector, that's the main connector that goes inside of your trans. We replaced that. It was covered in oil. The oil was coming through that connector um, into this guy. It was soaked. So I would recommend replacing that if you're in there. Um, but we replaced the transmission fluid temperature sensor on the scan tool. It was constantly reading 93 degrees. Uh, replace the neutral safety switch. Nah, that didn't fix anything. It still did the same thing. Um, so I told the guy who was helping me out working on this to check the wiring. Well, he only checked about this much and wrapped it in heat shielding because it is right next to the exhaust. So now I'm working on it and kind of back up so you guys can see. So main connector, you have your neutral safety switch connectors. And then you got three different speed sensors. Um, the protective casing, which is laying right there, seemed like it was in pretty good shape. Um, it was secure, zip tied. It wasn't, you know, moving around too much or or any of that, but I was pretty shocked to find that wherever wherever you see that from the factory they didn't wrap electrical tape in certain spots. Every single one of those spots has worn wires. Uh, that that spot up there gets a little better. It's it's not all the way through, but especially right right next to the transmission. I think from the vibration internally, uh, as you can see, those wires are completely corroded and I guarantee you aren't working the way they should this bar right here so I'm gonna go through and solder all these wires back up in hopes yeah here's some more in hopes that takes care of it and I will keep you guys posted and make another video on it